I am Jason M. Peterson. I'm from Chicago. I was in New York for 20 years. I moved to Chicago four years ago. And photography in Chicago have gone total hand in hand. I remember I got an email from a good friend of mine who sent me all of these photos that Stanley Kubrick shot in Chicago in 1948. And there were these classic black and white photos that were super, super timeless. I think a lot of people struggle that they don't know the history of photography. So literally they're looking at what other people are doing on social channels and emulating that versus me. I have like a massive archival book collection and looking at that as my inspiration. I think I've been able to hone in on a style of this high contrast black and white photography. So much so that like people recognize my photos. It's another thing that I love about master artists or photographers. You could look at them throughout their entire career and there's slight little tweaks or improvements throughout their career, but they have a certain style to it and that's what I'm trying to perfect. I have like a simple rule on social media. Every image I post has to be slightly better than the one previous to it. I discovered my love of photography in like high school. I got into it, taking photos, taking photo classes. Always like the class I excelled at the most. I would shoot and develop all my own stuff. So I have like rolls and rolls of like undeveloped film. Just literally still kind of sitting in the closet. The first type of camera I ever got was my stepdad had this 35 millimeter Pentax that he let me borrow for my photo class. So I used that Pentax for most of my stuff in high school and beginning in college. But to me, the best camera is the one that's in your hand right when the moment happens. So I shoot a lot of my stuff on an iPhone, but I did the launch and the beta test for the Leica Q, which is this amazing, lightweight, versatile mirrorless camera. So I carry that one with me pretty much everywhere. I really don't like elitist kind of artists. So to me, it's all about sharing in that kind of community. So I'll tell everyone what camera I shoot with, what my settings are, what locations I shoot at, because I want to encourage everyone else to go out and see what I'm doing, but do it in their own kind of way. I want to give everyone the kind of tools that I have and go, wow, what, you know, what can you make out of it? And I think I've probably done more for tourism in Chicago than any tourism campaign has done. If you look at all my social media feeds, people are like, oh my God, Chicago is so amazing. I want to come and I want to see it. And that part of it I think is really amazing because I want people to come and experience and see what I see and how I capture the city. There are tons of things I still want to do. People are like, oh my God, you have half a million followers on Instagram, what's next? I'm like, ah, to me it's never even started. To me it's like constant evolution and trying to get better. I always feel like I'm constantly chasing the perfect image. The thing about like mobile photography, it's like it's immediate. The Insta part of Instagram is my favorite part. It's like, I shot this, it's awesome, and here it is right now, because it really fits with how crazy and all over the place I am. Even though like I've been very successful kind of in social media and now really with photography, I still don't consider myself a photographer. I always said I'm an art director with an iPhone. The amount of people that I respect that I've been able to collaborate with or have their encouragement has been amazing. But like, I still got a long ways to go. Like I get excited every single day. Just walking around today, like we shot a couple images. I literally got like four like bangers on my camera that I can't wait to go download. Cause I was like, oh wow, I saw that building that I may have seen like 30 different times, but I saw it in a totally different kind of way today. And you know, I'm really excited about it. I'm just like constantly searching for like that perfect image.